hey guys in this video i am going to explain you about how to do automation task using puppet modules so this will help you to understand what is puppet modules and how it differs from puppet manifest file and topics will be covered in this video are what is puppet modules why do we need puppet modules do we really require programming language for writing puppet modules and what is pre existing puppet modules so these are the topics will be covered in this session this is a continuation of our puppet tutorials in the previous videos we have explained you about what is puppet how puppet works how to install puppet master server and puppet agents and they explained about puppet manifest files links related to these sessions are mentioned in the description refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better from basics level if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more about something else please leave your comments and subscribe our youtube channel for more updates and you are watching lanetiguide.net tutorials So what is puppet modules let me give you a small overview of puppet modules basically a module is a collection of manifests and data such as facts files and templates and they have a specific directory structure modules are useful for organizing your puppet code because they allow you to split your code into multiple manifests so it is considered the best practice to use modules to organize almost all of your puppet manifest so simple module is a collection of manifest with a specific directory structures initially we have seen what is manifest file and how to do this automation task using manifest file and we have shown you how to write and use that manifest file everything we have shown you so module is a collection of manifest we are putting all the manifest together in a specific directory structure to organize our codes this is quite easy and we'll tell you the difference of modules and manifest in the next slide if you have understand the need of puppet manifest discussed in the previous videos this would be easy you to understand the puppet modules for example to install and manage apache web server we will write a puppet code in a single manifest file with the extension of .pp to perform specific operations like precheck and we need to enable the repo then we have to install the packages of apache web server and we need to manage the services and other operations like a uh, reboot or editing the configuration file and other things so all these operations will be mentioned in a single manifest file but in modules we split these operations into multiple manifest file and we declare that as a classes using include statement as shown in the ex example declaration of classes within main manifest file so we will create a one single manifest file to include all these as a class statement and we make all these operation into multiple manifest file by making the specific directory structures so what happens we can use any of these manifest file for other operations for other configuration changes so by implementing puppet modules our main manifest file can be become much smaller more readable and policy focused instead of making all the changes in a single file making it as a complicated will be so difficult to understand for a admin but if we split these manifest according to the operation and making a main manifest file as a smaller will be more readable and policy focused that is what we need through puppet modules if you ask me do we really require programming language for writing puppet modules i would say for creating puppet modules yes 
you should have a basic understanding of puppet language to become more familiar with puppet modules which means we need a minimum scripting language for administration level you don't need to be a expert at least you should know the basic of it like what is classes class declaration class definitions and so on so writing puppet modules can be easier to those who has enough programming language to develop the codes for modules but what about others who doesn't have a programming language the solution for that is they can use the pre existing puppet modules available in forge and github websites they didn't need to write any codes it's quite easy they can use the pre existing puppet modules so now what is pre existing puppet modules pre existing modules are written by the community for open source puppet and puppet enterprises at the automation software and these are available publicly as a repository you can use these puppet modules to your infrastructure by automating tasks such as setting up a database web server mail server or any other application services these pre existing puppet modules are available to meet our infrastructure requirement you don't need to write any manifest file you don't need to write any puppet modules these are available on forge and github websites you can just go and download that modules and upload it in your puppet master server and include that classes that's quite easy as of today there are 4000 plus modules are available as a pre existing puppet modules on these sites so straight away we can use this pre existing mo puppet modules even if you don't have a programming language and instead of creating and wasting or generating a new code go and use this puppet modules these are created by the developers to help the admins so if you are good enough to write puppet modules you can also use this and contribute it to puppet community and in the next video i will show you how to download these pre existing puppet modules and will show you how to install it offline as well as online method this is all about the basics of puppet modules this is quite easy if you understand from beginning in the previous videos we have explained to you from the basics of puppet refer that which are very essential to understand the puppet from the beginning if you are watching this session in between then you cannot understand it and even we made this session very easily understandable so clear in the next video i will show you how to download these pre existing puppet modules and how to use it to deploy on all infrastructure puppet agent nodes if you find this video is helpful please do appreciate our efforts and hit like button and share with your friends about us and stay connected with us on social networking sites and subscribe our channel to get further updates and thanks for watching the video of lanetiguide.net tutorials